Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we will be covering the most branded gun currently in the game, the 12M Auto Shotgun. If you play a lot of Redacted, you probably died to the gun already a shit ton, or you're probably on the other side end up using the gun and farming the enemy team because with this gun it's super easy. But what do you get with the gun? Well, a fully automatic shotgun that can one shot, has a 20 round drum, is fully automatic, and you can basically spray and pray across the whole map and get a shit ton of kills. If you haven't unlocked this gun already, you simply need to reach player level 44. Now, as for the gun's damage values, I have to make two things clear first. First of all, we will be using the short barrel all the time because it gives us a faster fire rate, meaning our TTK increases. And number two, I won't be covering slug shots or flash shot shots on the gun since I personally not only think those two shotgun ammo types are useless because with the slugs you can only one shot if you hit the head, otherwise you need two shots all the time. But makes them not really viable and with the flechette can technically one shot but in my personal opinion i never one shot it with the flechette i don't know why but i just think even though it says it can one shot for me personally it never one shot so i won't be covering it so with the 12m we will poorly focus on the bug shot and since the only viable option then is the bug shot drum because it has the most ammo we will just be covering the bug shot drum and also later when i talk about the specialist you will never run out of ammo so there's no reason to switch ammo types now as for the damage model of the shotgun, very important. A shotgun isn't shooting just one bullet like your AR, so one shot, one hit, x amount of damage. Every time you pull the trigger, you actually shoot out smaller bullets or pellets. And every pellet on a shotgun here does 15 damage up to 19 meters and we shoot 8 of them. Meaning we can have a total damage of 120. That's just enough to one shot somebody that wears armor up to 20 meters. But the problem with the 12M is this theoretical one shot you will never achieve after I would say 4 to 5 maybe 6 meters. Because the gun is just imprecise enough to not one shot all the time but still precise enough to get two taps in. It's a bit weird but basically you should think about the shotgun basically at, as a you need two shots to kill all the time at least depending on your range maybe even three but you should expect to at least get two shots out before you can expect your enemy to get killed but even with this we still get a ttk of 165 milliseconds what is still super fast it's basically two tap ar headshot territory and you just need to hit the body so it's super easy now while i just said with the ar you need two headshots with the shotgun please don't aim for the head we only have a headshot multiplier of one meaning you deal to the same damage to the chest as you also deal to the head so headshots are worthless the only thing you get from aiming at the head is a smaller hitbox and so a greater chance that your pellets will miss so please just shoot at the chest now as for your ammo and your reload speed since we're using the buckshot drum you get 21 shots that's enough to basically kill 10 11 people depending on how close you are so you can farm with this gun a lot and i think you can probably see it in the background game Play. the gun is a really nice farmer gun but the only problem you have with the buckshot drum is the reload speed 3.45 seconds tactical and 3.92 seconds empty reload so if you run the drum magazine what you should make sure that really everybody is dead in your vicinity so you can take the vacation to reload because the moment you press the reload button and somebody knows that you're there and is pushing you you're not getting in the new magazine before the guy jumps around the corner and shoots at you the reload just takes super long that's at least one downside the gun has because there really aren't any other downsides now as for recoil we will be hip firing the gun poorly so recoil doesn't really matter of course you can ads but i think with the 12 m it's not really necessary even if somebody is like 20 25 meters away you're usually better off just hip firing with the gun but yeah these are the basic stats for the gun now let's get into some attachments so attachments for the 12 m your sight doesn't really matter because you will be hip firing but i still put on the fusion holo as always as for your magazine we will be using the buckshot drum magazine for the 21 rounds as your under barrel mga laser sight you will be hip firing we want hip fire and this side and this laser side is the best for hip fire accuracy when moving so use it as for your barrel as i said in the beginning we want a short barrel because it gives us an increased fire rate so better ttk even though we lose projectile velocity since you will be close up to the enemy as at all times project velocity is really none of our concerns now as for your specialist this time there's only one answer and this is spike since you will be pushing with a shotgun there's no way you won't take a lot of damage so 
you need this red pistol to heal yourself all the time but the main part is you want the ammo crate even though you will pick up ammo from dead enemies you killed i usually find i still run out of ammo consistently with the gun if i play it on like mckay so we want the ammo box to always resupply yourself and we also want the smoke grenades and of course the infinite smoke grenades you get for five with the ammo box because since we want to get close up to the enemy we need to find a way to get to them without getting shot and for this smoke grenades are our best option that's why fike is the only specialist you should play if you want to get a lot of kills with the gun so in conclusion should you play the shotgun yes it's broken but please use it sparingly i personally find the shotgun quite unrewarding to play and i also have to say i'm very sorry for all the people that died to my shotgun while i tried to get footage for this video i didn't mean it i will be back to playing a normal gun again okay thank you but overall like yes the gun is op yes the gun needs a damage nerf but i personally you find the gun like it's a super nice gun if you want to get like high stats really high kills per minute game you want to have a really nice kd but at the end of the day i think the gun is super unsatisfying to play there's no skill required and if you go negative while spamming the 12m with falk honestly maybe you should stop playing shooter games because there's no way you can go negative with a gun this broke so if you are like super bored or you want to f piss off the enemy team maybe the enemy team is already playing shotgun then yes please go ahead and play the 12m but if you only want to play the 12m to have fun then please play another gun because the 12m just simply is not fun to play maybe the first round maybe even the second round but once you get to the third round and the people are just falling over it's just super boring at least in my opinion but yeah if we are speaking poorly stats wise and not how it actually feels to play the gun and you just want to get maximum amount of kills and want to push your stats then yeah it's probably the best gun currently in the game but if you want to actually have some fun take some skill to get some kills i wouldn't advise you to play the gun but that's up to you if you want to play the gun you now know how to play the gun properly what attachments to use important just a reminder even though it's super broken even on range it's still a shotgun so don't expect to eat people off the map over like 50 meters no you have to get closed at least a little bit but yeah that's basically all from me today i hope you enjoyed this gun guide for the most branded gun currently in the game on monday i will post a video about the patch notes for season 7 and then we are basically already in season 7 finally after 160 days so if you want to stay up to date for all the things season 7 for battlefield 2042 subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching until the end and i will see you in the next one